So now uh, let's go and implement this database. You'll find a script file in this lecture and if you download that script file you'll get a ready-made script which will create the database called as link hub and it will create tables like category URL and user and in this we are also trying to insert some dummy records so that your database should be ready with some records as well I'm going to insert dummy records in category table, dummy records in user table and dummy records in URL table and finally we are going to select all the records so anyway this script file is available for you for download now make sure that master is selected here and I'll execute this or even use master will do that now I'll refresh this you can see that we got link hub and these are the records that has got inserted I'll be creating a database diagram so finally we get our database so I'll name it as link hub DG diagram say ok so we got the database along with records finally we have implemented this database and we also saw few records that we inserted and this is basically important thing and many developer they miss to do this or simply they think that this is waste of time but to get a proper output and to have a good unit testing you need good and meaningful dummy records now we are ready with our database let's look into the project architecture that we are going to implement three layered architecture or three tier so we are ready with our backend database next our data access layer will be in ADO.NET entity framework or if I say specifically partial data access layer will be in entity framework and partial we are going to code it now what do you mean by this partial once we go for implementation we will see that but as of now let us think that my data access layer will be in entity framework and my business logic layer will be again in C sharp like I'll be performing my business operations if A plus B is my business operation I'll be performing it in business logic layer and finally I get the result C I'll pass it to data access layer so that data access layer can store this result into the database so my business logic layer will be again in C sharp next my UI where I'll be accepting the inputs from the user and I'm displaying the result or you know user can interact with the help of UI so I'll be developing UI using ASP.NET MVC so layer 1 layer 2 layer 3 now how do I pass data from one layer to another layer so among these different layers how do we pass data we pass data with the help of business object layer now how do we create business object layer I can say that your entity framework is going to do this for you so entity framework will be creating a business object layer for you how we will see in our future videos so this is our project architecture so basically we need these four projects one two three and four or you can also say this is a four layered architecture now you can see this these are three layers and this layer is supporting all these three layers and slowly in our future videos we will try to introduce few more layers as per the necessity so our project will slowly turn from three layered architecture to n layered architecture so this is our basic layered architecture layout or tier architecture layout 
so we have user interface in MVC business logic layer in C sharp data access layer in entity framework and business object layer as well using entity framework so let's go and implement this let's create the architecture or you can say solution and let's add all these projects to it <coughs> 